G'day viewers, my name is Michael and welcome to Single Racer. And sorry to my regular subscribers because not only did we just get through a shocking heat wave here in Melbourne, Australia, where the it's the kind of heat wave that when you try and sleep at night it can actually almost make you feel ill. But the fact that I actually was ill, and that was a separate thing, and that was due to some, uh, shall we say, self-inflicted um, food poisoning due to some dodgy homemade hamburgers that I that uh, I had for tea. So I've been quite ill on top of the shocking heat wave as well, and I just haven't felt like doing any videos. And so what I thought I'd do is just simply do a couple of easier videos just to ease myself back in to the um, routine, so to speak. And luckily, the Humble George channel, his chief mechanic, Squonky, and his best friend, Jody Parks, have come to the rescue. And if you've never heard of the Humble George channel, he's essentially a modder extraordinaire that loves to do uh, work like this, uh, chrome wheels and everything, and the reason I've got the view so close to the car is to show you the chrome exhaust underbody. Just an absolutely fantastic job, and his chief mechanic, Squonky, who can make the cars go uh, well over 500 miles an hour, but that's his usual forte. But if you really, really wanted a car to look like this, I'm sure if you asked nice enough, he could do a car just uh, that it behaves normally, but just has that aggressive look as you can see here. And a big thank you to his best friend, Jody Parks, who uh, made the effort to get me the link to this incredible cruising track. It's very short, but it looks really, really nice. But also a separate link to the uh, external cameras and AI because I'm pretty sure this is a beta version and didn't seem to have it at the time so uh, you can have the links in the description to both the track itself and the extra features uh, to add into the track. And so on that basis I thought I would take out this brilliant Ford Mustang Shelby GTR in the JD Parks Purple out for a bit of a cruise. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time, hopefully, hopefully feeling a little bit better. I'll see you later and let's go cruising. And now, just one bit of housekeeping before we go for the drive in this very aggressive looking car, the Ford Mustang. Now, uh, it's very aggressive, but I think Humble George used its default sound, which to me just didn't quite fit the aggressiveness of the car. So I wanted to use a, a kind of, a, uh, you know, a, a V8, but also maybe a supercharged sound just to fit the aggressive looking nature of the car and if you're not sure how to do that it's very simple uh, just by coming over here to drive just click on manage car and you just come down to the option here replace sound and uh, it's just easy to do just before you go driving just click on it and then select the car you wanted I went to one of um, Uncle M's, who's also a brilliant modder, one of his cars and picked the Australian Monaro because it's not only got that V8 but supercharged sound. You just click on it, click OK and then you're ready to go when you start your race. So just uh, in case someone said, oh, but I've downloaded the car but it's not the sound that's in the video and that's why. So I just wanted that slightly more aggressive sound. So now let's go cruising.
Okay, folks, so here we are in the humbleized uh, Ford Mustang Shelby GTR, and look at the amazing lighting that Humble can do on these cars as well as the chrome wheels. So let's fire her up and head off. Now, by no means is this a race, I'm just going to go for a cruise, but just have a look at this incredible track. Now, it's interesting as we check out the yachts there parked in the uh, lake, but um, I wouldn't call this necessarily a cruising track because it's probably not quite long enough, but I was trying to figure out how I would describe it. And probably the best term I would use is a showcase truck. Exactly what I'm doing here. If you want to showcase a car, and just go for a gentle drive as we go under this bridge. Look at the bridge, just amazing detail. But it's only about five minutes long. So, uh, you know, it's probably not a true cruising track like uh, LA Canyons is, but just a beautiful drive nonetheless. And another thing you could do uh, is, given that this is a beta track, is hope that with the AI line and the fixes in the future is maybe a great hill climb track as well at this point in time the the race timing doesn't work but i didn't add the ai line as well as the um, extra cameras so maybe that works uh, with the link that i'll have in the description but just for now being still feeling quite ill with both the heat wave and a bit of food poisoning. I just wanted to go for this gentle cruise as we look around this fantastic looking track. Now, I do have to say from a personal point of view, if you, uh, as we look here at some, uh, the scenery around the track is, you might notice the, uh, the um, you know, the, <laughs> the pretty girl, shall we say, in the, uh, in the console there. Now that's not my choice. Being a family channel, I'd probably prefer that not to be there, but that's part of hum Humble's uh, unique uh, tweaking of the car. So uh, just overlook that if you can, please, if, you, if you're a little bit of offended by that, but uh, it's just part of the car. So I'm sure if you asked, you, he could easily take it out. Uh, I just can't remember how to do it offhand and I didn't feel well enough to worry about trying to do it before showing the car off. But uh, the car itself is absolutely brilliant, uh, you know, as a, as a showpiece and uh, an incredible effort on his part with the rest of the car as a whole. So uh, if you have a look here, the, the way you can tell, I think it's coming up soon, is that this track has a, a, a cross bridge, as we look at the sign here, very reminiscent of um, LA Canyons, it has that incredible feel, and there's the bridge, I think, there it is over there, and that kind of denotes uh, near the end of the track, just some beautiful scenery, it has that LA Canyons feel, and just a great drive. If you're looking for something like LA Canyons, but you don't want the, I think it's 15 to 20 minutes in a normal car situation to drive the whole track. So this is a great shortened version here. As we look over the scenery on the left, on the right, sorry, now on the left here, as we do the final bit of hill climb. And if the hill climb or the timing could get fixed in race format it would be a fantastic shortened three or four minute race too so i'd keep an eye on this track in the description uh, to see if there's any updates for it because it's just a beautiful looking track as we climb the hill to the final bit what happens is the track just runs out over like the mountain as you can see here or the big hill uh, just the track simply stops and then you have the roll down to the hill at the bottom. So rather than roll off the edge of the road, we'll just pull it here, uh, pull up here, and I'll just hop out and show you the final bit of view there. You can see the timing lights there, but they didn't work when I was testing the track, so you couldn't do a race as it stands at the moment. As we check out the yachts, a couple of yachts there at the bottom, 
Now, unfortunately, being a Sunday drive, the petrol station is closed, so I can't get anything to eat. But let's have another look at the. We've got the. Um, the. Uh, oh, gee, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just still not feeling well. I've, oh, the carbon fibre, that's what it's called. We've got the carbon fibre bonnet, the purple colouring, the chrome wheels there. Absolutely fantastic. So let's call it a day. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. See you later.